In this class, we'll learn one more property of a finite graph. A graph, finite graph can be connected or can be disconnected. It states in a finite graph with exactly two vertices of odd degree, there must be a path joining them. Stated as a theorem, a finite graph with exactly two vertices of odd degree must have a path joining them. Means if my graph G has exactly two vertices of odd degree of odd degree then there must be a path joining them. So let me take G as my graph. It can be connected or can be disconnected. If G is connected, if G is connected, then what happens? If G is a connected graph, then we know by definition, connected graph means in a, connect, in a graph, if there is at least one path between every pair of vertices, then that graph is called connected graph. So if J is a connected graph and say U and V are two vertices of odd degree, then by definition of connected graph, by definition of connected graph, there must be a path joining them. There must be a path joining U and V. So, no problem if graph is connected. But if G is disconnected, let me assume G is disconnected graph. If G is disconnected graph and U and V, degree of U equal to degree of V equal to an odd number, okay, U and V of course belongs to G. If G is a disconnected graph and it has got two vertices U and V of odd degree, then say since it's a disconnected graph, there are components. So let me take say some J as a component, in fact connected component. connected component of G such that such that one vertex of odd degree belongs to J. Okay. G is disconnected. So there are components. Let me take one such component which is a connected component of G and I am taking one odd degree vertex in J. Now, since J is also a graph, there must be one more vertex of odd degree because we know that number of vertices of odd degree in a graph must be an even number. Therefore, my connected component J must have one more vertex of odd degree along with U. If there is one such, then total number of odd degree vertices in my G will be 3, which is not possible since I it is already mentioned that graph has exactly two vertices of odd degree. Therefore, I cannot consider one more. I will consider this V in J itself. I repeat, if J is a disconnected graph and U and V belongs to G such that these two are odd degree vertices. 
Now I'll take a connected component of G. I'm calling it as J such that U belongs to J. Then J must have one more vertex of odd degree because number of vertices of odd degree in a graph must be an even number graph j must have one more vertex of odd degree because number of vertices of odd degree in a graph must be an even number so this v must belongs to v should belong to j because what is the reason it's already mentioned graph has g has exactly two vertices of odd degree of odd degree therefore v should belongs to j since u and v both are in g i mean j u comma v both belongs to j and j is a connected component therefore there is a path between u and v hence the proof i repeat statement says if a finite graph with exactly two vertices of odd degree then there must be a path joining them let me take graph g as a connected graph and u and v are the two vertices of odd degree then by the definition of a connected graph there must be a path joining u and v hence the proof if g is connected if g is not connected in the sense if it is disconnected graph and let me take u and v as a vertices of odd degree since it's disconnected there are the components i'll take one such component a connected component j such that one odd degree vertex belongs to j then that j must be a graph and it must have one more vertex of odd degree because we know a graph must have number of odd degree vertices should be an even number therefore v should belongs to j i cannot consider any other vertex because it's already mentioned g has exactly two vertices of odd degree therefore v must belongs to j since u and v are both in j and j is a connected component there must be a path between u and v so in a finite graph with exactly two vertices of odd degree then there is a path joining them next we'll learn one more type of graph that is euler's graph we have many such types of graphs hamiltonian graph euler's graph okay euler's graph is a graph which contains an euler line what is euler line euler line is a closed walk but it contains every edge of a graph g which is traversed only once euler line Euler line 
is a closed walk. It's a closed walk. Okay. Which contains closed walk containing every edge. Every edge of a graph. Say take it as G. Exactly once. Exactly once. And graph with Euler line. Graph which has an Euler line. An Euler line is Euler graph. What is closed walk? Closed walk is a walk which starts and ends at the same vertex. Such walk in which every edge of a graph is included in such a way that it is traversed only once, then such line or such walk is called Euler line. It's a closed walk containing every edge of a graph which is traversed exactly once. And a graph with this closed walk is called Euler's graph. For example, if I take this simple triangle with the vertices say 1, 2, 3, edges A, B, C. Okay, then this is, uh, if I take... 1, A, 2, B, 3, C, 1. Then it is a closed walk. And it is an Euler line because it contains all the edges. 1, A, 2, walk. I'll call it as walk 1. 1, A, 2, B, 3, C, 1. Walk means a finite sequence of Vertices and edges which begins and end, ends with the vertex and each edge is preceding and following with the vertices and each edge is traversed exactly once. So in for this graph I can define a walk, one walk that is W1, 1, A, 2, B, 3, C, 1. It's an Euler line because it contains all the edges of a graph and all the edges are traversed exactly once. Therefore, it's an Euler graph. Next, suppose if I consider this graph, say example 2, I'll take, um, I'll join two triangles okay, I'll name the vertices 1 2 3 4 5 A B C D E F ok now I'll define define a walk which starts with say 1, define a walk, starts with 1, A, 2, B, 3, C, I am coming back to 1, okay, then I will take F, 5, E, 4, D, and I am back to 1. 1, 1, A, 2, B, 3, C, 1, D, sorry, I started 1, F, 5, E, 4, D, and back to 1. It's an Euler line. It's an Euler line. Therefore, G is a Euler graph. G is an Euler graph. Oh, one more example. Mm. I'll join two triangles only but in a different manner. Say this is 
one triangle and we'll take one more like this now okay and name the vertices v1 v2 v3 v4 edges a b c d e now can you tell me can you guess whether it is an euler graph or not one walk if i define from vertex v1 then v1 a v2 e v4 v1 of course it is a closed walk but it is not an euler line since it's not passing through these two edges okay if i extend this if i extend this to this then that is new walk v1 a v2 b v3 c v4 d and coming back to v1 now of course it is traversing through all the vertices but not to this edge therefore it's not a euler line therefore this is not a euler graph 